Hi, I'm Brian James. Thanks for joining me. Today here in Montreal, it's Sunday. And on Sundays, I like to do a practice that focuses on invoking and honoring the sun. Today, I'll share with you the kind of practice I might do on a typical Sunday. And in this practice, we'll be incorporating mantra into the Surya Namaskar, the movement sequence of the sun salutation. I find putting the mantra into the movement practice really helps to enrich it with a feeling of devotion and intention. So the practice that we'll do today, I'll keep it very simple. We'll do about six of the classical Surya Namaskar, maybe some seated postures, and then a meditation practice using a candle. So for this practice, if you could set up a candle in your space. Um, right now, the camera here is on my altar. So I've made a little temporary altar using this djembe drum, which is a nice height because when I'm seated, it's just below eye level. So if you could set up a little table or altar with a candle on it for this practice. So for the practice today, we'll be using a mantra that incorporates both the bija sound, the seed sound from the tantric tradition, and also a name of the sun. And in this case, we'll use the name Surya. So the bija sound will be khrim. And if you've watched the other videos focused on the sun salutation and mantra, You'll remember that sound from the um, from the chant Khram, Khrim, Khrum, Khraim, Khraum, Khraha. But the sound Khrim in particular is one of the primary uh, bija sounds for the sun. So have a nice comfortable seat. I'll just introduce you to the mantra first and then I'll show you how to put it into the movement practice. Take a moment grounding yourself. And start to tune into the sound of the drone. And tuning your voice to the drone by humming. Really trying to feel in your body when you're in harmony with the drone. Okay, and the mantra goes like this. Om Khrim Suryaya Namaha Khrim Suryaya Namaha Om Khrim Suryaya Namaha Just try it with me. Om Khrim Suryaya Suryaya Namaha Om Khrim Suryaya Namaha Om Khrim Suryaya Namaha Okay, if you need to repeat that a few more times in order to memorize it, 
so that you can easily incorporate it into the movement practice, then you can do that now. But when you're ready, just clear your space and come to the top of your mat. Okay, starting in Tadasana. So feet about hips distance apart and parallel. Find that feeling of being centered. Shoulders relaxed. Tuning into your breath. Now, just to get used to the idea of incorporating mantra into movement, let's just try it with some simple forward bends. So what we'll do is, on the exhalation, recite the mantra. And at first we'll do it out loud, but when we do the sun salutations, we'll just be doing it mentally. But just to get used to that kind of practice, we'll do it out loud at first. So. Arms relaxed at your side. Inhale, bring your arms up. And as you come down, recite the mantra. Om Hrim Suryaya Namaha. Inhale, come up, arms above. Bring your hands to your heart with the mantra. Om Hrim Suryaya Namaha. We'll do that sequence again. Inhale, arms up. Forward bend with mantra. Om Hrim Suryaya Namaha. Inhale all the way up. Hands to your heart with mantra. Om Hrim Suryaya Namaha. And let's try it again without instruction. Om Hrim Suryaya Namaha. And again, this time reciting the mantra silently. Okay, so let's apply that same method to a classical Surya Namaskar. So first, I'll just um, instruct you through the sequence, and then you can start to focus more and more on reciting the mantra as you exhale. And remember, just reciting it silently. So from Tadasana, our starting position, inhale, arms up above, look up. Exhale, forward bend. Step your right foot straight back, knee on the floor. Inhale, arms come up. On your exhale, bring your hands down and step right to downward facing dog. Inhale into the high plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest, and chin. Touch the floor. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step the right foot forward. Left knee is on the ground. Inhale, arms up. On your exhale, bring your hands down, step forward, right into a forward bend. 
Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, hands to your heart with the mantra. Okay, and every time we repeat the sequence, we're going to change which foot we step back and forward with. And it's the same foot. So when I step back with the right foot, when I return, I step forward with the right foot, and then I'm in the lunge on the other side. <clears throat> so now let's try it with the left foot stepping. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward bend. Left foot steps back, knee to the floor. Inhale, in the lunge. Exhale, right to downward dog. <clears throat> Inhale, high plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin touch down. Ashtanga pranam. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left foot steps forward swiftly. Right knee down. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, right to the forward bend. Inhale all the way up into a back arch. Exhale, coming into your heart. Take a moment. Okay, let's try it again. Now, remember, right foot steps back. Inhale, come up. Exhale, with mantra. Right foot back, knee to the floor. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, down dog with mantra. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, ashtanga pranam. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog, remember, with the mantra. Right foot steps forward. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, right to the forward bend, swift movement. Inhale, up. And exhale, returning home. Take a moment, think of the sun, see the sun in the sky, see the sun in your heart. Let's continue, left foot now, inhale up. Exhale down. Step back, inhale lunge. Exhale down dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left foot forward. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale all the way up. Exhale to your heart. Take a resting breath. Think of the sun, maybe gaze at your candle. Let's go one more round. Inhale, arms up. Exhale down. Right foot back. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, come down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down dog. Right foot forward. 
Inhale, lunge. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, come up. Exhale, to your center. Resting breath. Think of the sun. Okay, last one. Left foot now. Inhale, arms up. Exhale down. Step back. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, Ashtanga Pranam. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left foot forward. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, mantra to your heart. Om Khrim Suryaya Namaha Om Khrim Suryaya Namaha Om Khrim Suryaya Namaha Let's transition to the ground. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward bend. Step to down dog. Inhale, bring your knees down, lift your chest. And exhale, child pose. Let's take a little rest here. And then we'll transition to some seated postures. Okay, bringing your legs out in front. We'll start with a seated twist. So you can bring one ankle by the opposite hip, other leg comes across. If that's not comfortable, just bring one knee in. Okay, the other leg straight. So whatever option you take, the knee that's lifted, that's the direction we're going to twist in. So you can wrap your arm around that knee, other hand behind for support. Try to keep your spine nice and tall. Take a big inhale, create some length, and exhale, gently twist. Every inhale, let the posture ease up a little. Create some space with the inhale on your exhale. Move into that space gently. Okay, next inhale, unwind, change your legs. Set up the foundation of your posture first and then breathe into it. If it's helpful, you can continue to recite the mantra on exhale.
On your next inhale, unwind. Stretch your legs out in front. Bring your right heel in for Janu Shirshasana. The extended leg can be bent quite a bit. Turn toward the extended leg. Inhale, create length. Exhale, forward bend. So the head is moving toward the knee. Every inhale, fill your chest, create some space. Exhale, simply relax into that space. Next inhale, lift yourself up, mindfully changing legs, foundation, alignment, breath. Inhale, lift up. So we're doing about five or six breaths in every posture. Both legs straight, Paschimottanasana. Again, you can have your legs bent quite a lot. Alignment, breath. Bend your knees enough that you can connect with your feet, putting your hands on your feet. It feels like it completes a circuit. Every breath circulating prana through a whole body. can think of our system as a battery receiving energy from the sun. And the pranayama helps us to contain that energy, cycling it through our whole system so that every cell gets charged up with positive energy. Okay, next inhale, lift up out of the pose. And as a counter pose to all the forward bends, let's try the reverse table. So bring your feet in a comfortable distance. Hands are just behind your shoulders. I like to turn my fingers out to the side. That way the wrists don't get strained too much. On your inhale, press through your feet, press through your hands, lift your hips up. See if you can get a nice stretch through the front of your hips. And exhale, lower down. Maybe you just try that a few times. And then you can try staying for two or three breaths. And only if it's comfortable, let your head go back. And 
on your exhale, lower down. <clears throat> okay, let's finish with some mantra and meditation using our candle. So set yourself up in a comfortable seat in front of your candle. And I like to keep the candle about three feet away. And if possible, get it to where it's just below eye level. It's okay if it's lower down, but it's a little more comfortable if it's just below eye level. So start by finding a stable and comfortable posture. Bring some aliveness into your spine. Notice if you're holding tension in your shoulders or jaw, see if you can let that go. And when you're ready, just bring your gaze to the candle. See the shape of the flame. Notice its color, its movement. Perhaps you start to notice a glow around the flame. This flame is like a little sun, offering light, warmth. Now continue gazing at the flame. Try to keep your eyes open as much as you can until they water. This is a cleansing practice called Trataka. Let everything in your peripheral vision fade away or become blurry, bringing all of your focus to the flame. Now, gazing at the flame, inhale, bring your hands toward the flame. Think about receiving that light. And as you bring your hands to your forehead, recite the mantra. Om Khrim Suryaya Namaha. As your eyes close, continue to see the flame in your mind's eye. Now inhale, bring your hands to the flame. Bring your hands to your heart with the mantra. Om Khrim Suryaya Namaha. Inhale, hands to the flame. With mantra, 
bring that energy to your belly. Om Hrim Surya Namaha. Inhale. Receive the energy of the sun with mantra. Bring it to your forehead, to your mind, dispelling any darkness. Om Hrim Surya Namaha. Inhale. Receive the light and bring it to your heart. Om Hrim Surya Namaha. Inhale. Receive the heat of the sun. Bring it to your belly to aid with digestion. Om Hrim Surya Namaha. Inhale. Receive the light. Bring it to your head. Om Hrim Surya Namaha. Dispelling any dark thoughts. Inhale, receive light, and bring it to your heart. Om Hrim Surya Namaha. Dispelling any sadness or despair or fear. Inhale, receive the light, bring it to your belly. Om Hrim Surya Namaha. And resting your hands on your legs. You might continue gazing at the candle. Or you might take some time to journal, making note of anything that came up for you during your practice, any insights or inspiration. Before we finish here, just take a moment and find some gratitude for the sun. Without the sun, none of us would be here. The sun is the giver of life, the sustainer of life. Mm, thank you so much.